In a bombshell revelation rocking the very foundations of the British royal family, an American woman has shockingly come forward claiming to be the biological mother of Lilibet, Lily, Diana Mountbatten Windsor, the youngest daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And in an exclusive interview, the self-professed, real mom, insists she never agreed to any surrogate arrangement, alleging her child was effectively, stolen, by the current guardians she says are illegally passing Lily off as their own. I carried and gave birth to my beautiful daughter before these wealthy celebrities basically took her from me through intimidation and coercion," cried 32-year-old Lauren Norris, a struggling single mom currently residing in Bakersfield, California. For over a year now, these imposters have been admitting to the world this little girl is biologically theirs when every fiber of my being knows that's a blatant lie. According to the emotional mother, Norris insists she first encountered the couple known as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in late 2020 when answered by her an advertisement seeking an egg donor. At the time, Norris, a divorced preschool educator raising two young boys alone, says she eagerly pursued the opportunity hoping to secure sorely needed financial relief. However, she claims the original surrogate arrangement soon devolved into something more sinister and underhanded. Pretty soon these Britons went completely off the rails once they realized how perfect my genes represented what they were looking for, it was like I'd struck gold for this ex-royal's baby obsession," Norris explained through streams of tears. Next thing you know they're trying convincing me carrying my own biological offspring to term myself and handing over full custody once delivered. Of course I refused that aberrant request, but they became relentless forcing me into an impossible situation ultimately using riches and threats coercing me into having my daughter essentially abducted. Norris continued painting a deeply disturbing portrait alleging once she'd given birth, she was aggressively strong-armed into surrendering her newborn through deceptive legal mechanisms establishing Harry and Meghan as adoptive guardians through sketchy California back channels. At one point, the purported mother says the obstetrician who delivered Lily even barged back into her hospital room literally snatching the baby from my arms before vanishing alongside the Sussexes and their armed security details. I've tried repeatedly just getting an actual chance meeting my daughter or even speaking with Meghan and Harry about restoring some custody since last September, but they essentially had me barred from all access on claims I apparently signed all rights away permanently, Norris said solemnly her voice wavering and cracking with visible anguish. Of course that's completely untrue since nothing could ever make me voluntarily relinquish my rights as Lily's birth parent. When reached for comment regarding Norris' inflammatory allegations, high-ranking representatives from Prince Harry and Meghan's office responded with prompt adamant denials dismissing any notion questioning Lilibet's parentage or custody status. Through an official statement sent to media outlets, the Sussexes' camp labeled the woman an outright, frauds turned grifter seeking money and attention through spurious claims. The Duke and Duchess cannot begin weighing responding to such offensive falsehood narratives questioning the legitimacy their family as parents, the spokesperson remarked curtly. Ultimately Ms. Norris represents the latest unscrupulous operator in decently attempting profiting from achieving viral infamy at their expense while manufacturing patently absurd controversies. Our only concern involves protecting their children from strangers admitting unhealthy fixations toward their daughters. The representative continued warning any reasonable courtroom examination would prove Norris' assertion as nothing more than a tissue of lies by an unstable personality pursuing any kind of fleeting internet celebrity through dishonest shock value provocations. Just because she successfully locates compromised medical whistleblowers leaking confidential records for a quick payday doesn't establish a shred of validity behind her meritless custody demands, only revealing a troubled grifter's depravity jeopardizing minors' well-being, the emissary stated unequivocally. Frankly these are exactly the types of seedy attempts toward profiteering from the chaos we saw prompting their family's relocation overseas safeguarding them from incessant harassment and indecent chicanery. But Norris doubled down remaining defiant in the face of withering opposition from royal flax. Look I don't care what anyone says or how much money they've got, this is my actual biological daughter being deprived from knowing her mom based on total falsehoods and frauds, she reaffirmed speaking exclusively with Newsmax. I have literal proof through DNA samples, birth records, and documentation showing everything about how they hoodwinked me out of custody following a completely legitimate surrogacy path we'd initially agreed upon," Norris stated, producing various files purportedly establishing her legally surrendering any parental rights. 
but no document could ever force a real mom abandoning the truth about her actual flesh and blood. Adding even more bizarre wrinkles, several high-profile observers already interpreted Nora's public accusations potentially representing an ironic twist of fate catching Harry and Meghan's own past overly casual admissions about the reproductive ordeals creating their lineage. Many could not help noticing the parallels between Lauren's sordid scenario and insinuations the Duchess dropped on Oprah regarding Lilibet's conception, from secretly hiding the initial egg donor to outright statements about pursuing a birth plan outside of normal procedures with Harry. This really does appear directly vindicating long-simmering suspicions the Sussexes went about illicitly acquiring their second child through disreputable non-conventional means evading expected ethics and potentially exploiting others along the way one royal expert opined during a televised panel. You can't just brazenly admit contemplating extreme birth options and genetic alternatives with zero accountability, then expect shrugging off these inevitable aftermath reckonings and suing. Meanwhile, a coterie of prominent attorneys and legal analysts have now begun questioning whether the entire murky saga potentially crosses disturbing boundaries directly implicating human trafficking infractions possibly breaching multiple jurisdictions if true. Other commentators stopped short of such sensationalism while still acknowledging the circumstances essentially confirmed inappropriate improprieties occurred somewhere, somehow amid society's darkest fertility industry underworld. Perhaps most astonishing of all however involved speculation surrounding Meghan Markle herself. Multiple pundits openly theorized whether Lauren Norris' determined pursuit regaining access to her offspring subtly revealed the Duchess potentially exhibiting a disturbing aspect of her psyche characterized by dysfunctional ancestral lineage denial and severing. They pointed toward Harry's wife's previous drifts with her own estranged family suggesting she may harbor deep unconscious preoccupations with breaking generational bloodlines.